There are no answers. <laughs> Pony? <laughs> the Rod Webber interview. <laughs> United, we will always stand, but divided, we will always fail. Okay, and Donald Trump, I think uh, a lot of the people out here are going to see, is going to probably become one of the one of the most influential unifiers. Are you afraid of me? Are you afraid of me? Why should I be afraid of you? Because that's what Donald Trump is portraying to his supporters. In the he is talking about until you can figure out what the hell is going on, and that's exactly what he said. There should be a temporary ban on Muslims entering this country. A comprehensive immigration policy is required if you want to have a country. You have paperwork, but all these immigrants from Syria. How do you know everybody from Syria is Muslim? How do you know everybody's not Muslim? I don't know. That. What are laws based on? Well, which which country? Which area? In, in general, are they based on morality? They're based on what people yeah. accept. Here's, as you have the proper paperwork. It depends. So on that's morality, right? Most of the laws they were, they were built throughout the years. They have, they were some laws were made. You know, what is it? Seventeen seventy six when they first first when first gained independence. And the people so, so have to vote the representatives into office who will get rid of the laws that they don't want if they're immoral laws. Do you think morality is important? Well, you know, you're asking churchy questions, and it ain't my thing. There's a lot of Christians, and they won't even let them in the country. All right, so what about, uh, you know, the families that get broken up uh, because uh, they move over here and have a baby here? Well, here's the thing. But do you know, my family were refugees in, in Afghanistan, okay, when okay. the Russians Lisa, came. But did, my family did nothing like that. You can't just blame one terroristic activity on the whole population. You know what? A plane just went down over a Egypt. A school just got shot. shot. A school. Tell, we're not going to say all white bus. people are, are fucked up or they're terrorists because of Timothy McVeigh. He just got shot up by a white guy. A white guy. Yes. The only white guys go in the, it's in the schools. It's mostly white guys. Well, I will tell you this. Yeah, most is. of terrorism is extremist Muslims. Not, I had to work my butt off. I had to work different jobs. I had to save up money. Um, I didn't get to travel like all other college students were able to travel during spring break or summer break. Donald Trump came out and he was one of the only person who started the conversation about comprehensive immigration. Right, he started the conversation. You, if we go to Mexico or any other country, we have to, absolutely, we have to follow their immigration laws. The, the whole thing with the families, breaking up families, is it, is it moral to break them up? I don't believe that that's what we're going, that that is the first point to address. He's not racist. He he doesn't want to get rid of all Muslims. And uh, can you talk about that? Yeah. So when I was speaking to the lady, she was speaking more towards like the Syrians and stuff. But I I, I was mentioning to her that not all the Syrians that are trying to come um, across the border is are Muslims. These people are coming to our country having their babies. Mexico's immigration laws are a lot tougher than America's. I think we can address the other part first, and that maybe then we won't have to break up the family. I didn't say anything bad, but I could. <laughs> My father taught me well. Look, he the next Hitler. He the next Hitler. No support. You educate yourself. You educate yourself. He the next Hitler, big girl. How does that make you feel when he says uh, Trump will be the next Hitler? He's not Hitler. But how does that make you feel when he says it? I could care less. My father was a Polish Hitler. He never let you sit. He made you work. Would you agree that laws are based in morality? Of course, there has to be morality. If you get caught on the border over there, you get two to ten years in jail. You got illegal aliens getting treated better than military, marines, army. Well, somebody has to make rules. You, you can't have a house with no rules. But if the rules are to eradicate all the Jews, or in the case no, of Trump, but he's not saying that. I'm not saying all Muslims like should have, have they said should be, have, wear a patch like they did with the Jewish people, and then, and then that's when they're calling Trump a Nazi and everything. Oh, he was talking about de deporting all Muslims. Well, they have to be uh, vetted. There's Christians and different of different religions, and some of these these Syrians are probably, probably don't have a religion. But if you think about it, they're they're still humans and. They, um, they're refugees. Go to FBI.gov. That is false. What's false? That most Muslims are terrorists. They're trying. They're leaving. 
the bigots and the people who are like um, trying to put a bad name towards you know the, the religion of Islam. Most of them are white guys. Yes. Yes. FBI.gov yeah. FBI.gov yeah. will tell you that. But when you single out Muslims as Donald Trump has, that's why they're making the references to Hitler. Well, they're, they're, a, they're a problem in their own country. That Europe runs the same exact kind of system that Trump is running. And yes. their economics have been in the toilet yes. since the recession. People make their own problems, and somebody has to deal with it. you got to deal with it accordingly. Just do it to make it work. America will fail under Bernie Sanders. Hey, have you heard of Iceland? Who closed down the government? Uh, have you I heard of Iceland? Yes, I have. It's very green. Yeah. Have you heard of Denmark? Then, then you're wrong. <laughs> you know, you got to have rules. You can't have a country with no rules. They threw their bankers in jail, man. Fences make good neighbors. You gotta have laws. You can't have a country with no laws. Marijuana should be legalized because a lot of you are filled with hate and you need to smoke some weed so you can chill out and stop being so violent. I'm pretty sure if Trump supporters have shown that they can do that too with his endorsement. So don't go after Bernie supporters for being violent. Well, but would you say the laws are based upon morality? It's not based on morality. I've been threatened, to, threatened three times a day to get my ass kicked. Meanwhile, there's some guys that just went to jail in Boston for beating up a homeless man in the name of Trump. Saying that he was American. Scott and Steve Leader are their names. They're from Dorchester. Do you think that morality is important? Of course it is. It's going to hell now. They urinated on this man who was homeless and then beat him with a lead pipe. But shouldn't morality be before legality? Isn't that how we should base our laws? There are laws this country has and you have to abide by the laws of the country. Okay. And so, they said in the name of Donald Trump. So when families are being broken up as a result of deportations, uh, do you think that's uh, moral? Well, they shouldn't come here illegally. But do you think it's moral to break up a family over that? Well, then the whole family can go back. If you see recent um, news and stuff, like the media, all they talk about is, you know, they bring out the facts about, you know, Trump saying, you know, Muslims are this and Muslims are that. But why are there so many attacks after his speeches and his campaigns and his rallies that there's a lot of attacks towards the Muslim community? Like mosques are being burned down. Um, people are being, you know, girls who wear hijab and stuff. They're being followed. They're being, um, you know, they're being targeted more than anyone else. And still they say it's not racist, that's just... It's just, he's just speaking his mind and yada, yada, yada. So where do our laws come from? They come from historic precedents. They don't come from morality? Well, that's your own law if you want to talk about morality, but I'm not talking about morality. I'm asking about it, and that's so I'm talking about it. Okay. So uh, would you agree that laws come from uh, an inherent morality? Laws come from people who want to pass laws. And right now, for instance, Can't. you drive down the street, this street, at 75 miles an hour, and buddy, you're in trouble. That's a law that people... Yes, I'm sure, but we can change laws uh, if, if there's an autobahn in Germany, uh, you know, something like that no here. Speed limit. Correct. You can change the speed limit to whatever you want. Yeah. And yeah. we can change it to uh, immigrants coming in and different... Who's against uh, immigrants? Uh, it sounds Donald like Trump. she's against illegal Im immigrants, and this is why I'm asking about legality versus morality. Mm -hmm. So do you agree that morality is what informs our laws? I don't think so. I think we, we have the moral laws right now. Mr. Trump speaks the truth, tells it how it is. Uh, he's my God, he's my savior, man. Did you say savior? He's my savior. Okay. I'm asking You're is morality important question. to you? It's not important to me. Oh. What if Donald Trump does not live up to the expectation he's talking about now for all his supporters? How would you feel about it? What if he does something totally opposite? Maybe he's just getting your support and your money and stuff. What, how would you feel about that later after he's... Elected? Well, I don't think I'd feel any different than, than all the people who voted for Obama. Why must you all stare at me? There's nothing to say. Stare at me
divert your gaze Yeah, everybody knows Zombie Doobie Everybody knows Zombie Doobie I think we should make meditation mandatory I think people need to reflect on what they gotta do If people just sit down and think about what the hell they're doing Maybe something would get